Hello and welcome to episode 8 of the how to make an RPG game in Godot 4 and today we're going to be adding these health bars to our enemy and our player but if you're not following along with this series and just clicked on this video for health bars or really any UI updating element that you need for your game in Godot this is going to be perfect because we are covering everything that you need to learn to you know make different updating UI elements which in this video we're going to be going over a health bar but it really works for anything so but before we get started i just want to ask if you could go below and hit that subscribe button and drop a like on this video to help youtube push this series to more inspiring game developers so they can learn to make their own go to games as well but without further ado let's get started with episode 8 and add health bars to our enemy and our player okay so first off to make our health bar we're going to go to our player and we're going to add it to our player first so if we go to our player scene then in our player scene, we're going to go and add a progress bar, which is a node in Godot. And we can just rename this to our health bar. All right. So we'll name that to our health bar. And then our health bar, we can make it look, you know, decently well. So we can like come over here. And obviously this is uh, it's bigger than the player, right? Obviously our, our, I mean, in your game, it might not be this big unless it is a you know pixel art if it's pixel art the progress bar is going to be massive compared to the player so we need to go and change this so i'm going to go down here to let's find scale it should be in down here somewhere maybe not maybe it's up here oh i guess yeah i guess it would be up here in transformer layout yeah so there there's our scale so it's 0.1 right now so we're going to go down to like 0.1 and not going to lie that actually looks perfect right so we can like extend this so it's a little bit longer maybe not maybe we can go a little bit back and now i can't even get it lined up perfect let's go a little bit more and that looks good so that looks fine let's also go up to the very top in the show percent we can turn that off and we can also go to our modulate or our color down here which is going to be right here and we can change this to some sort of green right now we can always play around with this color later to make sure it is perfect but for now, we'll just go with something like that, right? So I'm also going to go in to our player and add another node. It's going to be a timer. This is not going to actually be directly to the health bar, but this is going to be like a, this is going to be like our region timer, right? So our player can have regeneration. And in this, we're going to set like wait time to like, I don't know, five seconds. So we can like wait five seconds before we add 20 health to our player and we want that on auto start and then we'll go to our node and we'll send a timeout function from that timer to our player right so now in here we're gonna have a couple of different things i'm gonna make one a new function up here and this is going to be our update health function so this means we'll always update our health bar just to make sure our health bar is completely updated and in this function let me space down here a little bit just so we can get back up here so this is in the middle of the screen so in this function we're gonna first of all we're gonna have make a variable which is gonna be var health bar which is going to be equal to our health bar right and then we'll do health bar dot value which is the value of the progress bar or what we show in the game is going to be equal to our health which is a variable that we have on our player right so then we'll do if health which is the variable we have on our player is greater than or equal to a hundred which this means we are alive right so this means we are max health right so this means we're gonna be like max max health right so if we're max health then we want our health bar to disappear right because we only want our health bar to be visible when we have taken a little bit of damage or we are not fully a hundred percent right so we'll do health else health bar health bar dot visible equals to true and if you want it to show all the time then you don't really have to add this here right so then if you want it to show all the time don't add this at all like so let's say you want it at you want your health bar at like the bottom left of the screen if you want it at the bottom left and you want it to stay there the entire time then you would not add this you just put it you would put it probably well, no, I guess, yeah, you would put it in the player script. So you still put it in the player script. And you put it in the player script, but you would put it in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. So it stays there the entire time. Or you would go to either your world or you would make a new scene. Actually, you would probably make a new scene. 
So you'd make a new scene and you'd say like uh, GUI elements or something like that, right? And then you'd add all those elements to the screen and you'd overlay that on top of the player or you'd overlay that on top of the world scene and you'd overlay that on all your different scenes, right? So that's what you would do for that. And this kind of is everything, right? Because our health bar now always equals our health. And if we are at 100, then our health bar is going to disappear and it's not going to be visible. So when our region timer goes off, we'll do if health is greater than 100. If our health is greater than 100, then health is going to be equal to health plus, I mean, so if health is less than 100, so if our health is less than 100, then health equals health plus 20, whenever the timer goes off, which is every five seconds. And we'll say like, if health is now greater than 100, because let's say we're at 90 health and then we add 20, then we're at 110 health, which is not good. So we'll, then we'll just reset it to health equals 100. So if we go over 100, health is gonna go back to 100. Then we'll do if health is equal to zero, then health equals zero which is basically so on timer so if health equals zero then health equals zero and the reason we do that is because zero is less than a hundred or i guess we would do i guess we would do if it's less than or great or equal to zero because health is equal to a hundred or health under 100 if health is equal to zero then that means we're going to add 20 health if we're if health is equal to zero our player is already not alive anymore and we don't need to be adding health because the player is already dead right so now if we go and we play in our world we should see that everything works so we have no health or i mean i guess there is a health bar there okay i don't know exactly what happened so if we go back to our health bar okay okay that that's on me so we didn't even update our our health right so we have not we haven't called this function we have to call our update health function inside of our physics process way up here so now we update health in a function so if we go to our inspector and we go up here to the top we need to our on our player i guess we need to set our health back to 100 because it, we set it to 160 in one of the last episodes for testing but now if we were to play the game we would see that it pops up when we take a little bit of damage if we run away hopefully we get away from the slime before he hits us one more time you can see that we just took a little we regened a little bit and we're we're regening pretty slowly but we are regening which is good and as when we get back to 100 health it's going to disappear again Boom, and then when we get hit, we take damage just like so, right? So boom, our health bar is now officially working. It looks good. I don't really like the color, but you can go back and you can change the color. So now let's add a, you know, the same exact type of health bar to our slime. So if we go to our enemy, we need to go to a, uh, we'll add a progress bar. This is, a, this is on our enemy now. So then we'll add a health bar. And then we will go into our layout or, or transform and then we'll make this a 0.1 because it's going to be it, or it's going to need to be small as well we can come set this up to make it look good so we'll just do something like that right and then we'll say show percent up at the top we'll turn that off because i don't really like the show percent if you like that then i guess you can leave it on as as just to show the percent but if we go down here and we go to modulate, we can change the color again to a green. Obviously, it's not going to be the exact same green. If you want the exact same green, you would have to copy this hex code. But this is just for, you know, just to kind of like show. Right. And, I'll, we you know, maybe this green looks better. Maybe we'll add this green to the player. It just depends. We have to see how it looks in the game. Actually, let's add like a neon green just to see how it looks in the game. Right. So we'll do something like this for a neon green see how that looks but we need to go into our script now and if we go down here to the bottom of our enemy dot gd we can make the same exact function and we'll do function update health and we'll do var health bar health bar equals and then we'll get our health bar and then if health we will do the same thing to say like if we're over 100 health 
then we want our if we're over or equal to 100 health then we want our health bar dot visible to equal to false and else health bar dot visible to equal to true and we need to go up here in, in physics process and we need to call this function so we'll say up update health and we'll just call that function now if we go to our world and we play we did something wrong so health bar is not declared in current scope did I okay I spelt that okay yeah I spelt it wrong so so now it should work okay I just spelt it wrong up there so if we go back now we hit our enemy you see that it somewhat works but also somewhat does not work so how much health so we have a hundred health on our player or I mean on our enemy if we go back to our enemy let's see what's going on so we have our health bar down here um so let's see so let's set the value to 100 see what it looks like so it does show so which means it should be working let's see so so our health bar is not updating some some do i did i add that to the wrong function up here in uh update health no it should our health bar equals health bar yes and then we got our health okay so I, i'm not even updating the value so it's that that's completely on me so var health bar dot value equals our health right so now if we are to play the game we will see that it, it works but our enemy still dies right but if we were to attack it a little bit better it it still dies because you know i'm gonna go to our player and we can add a little bit more health or we can say something like now let's actually make the enemy do a little bit less damage so let's say let's go to our player and then let's go down here to where we get attacked so we'll say enemy attack and we'll just change the health to 10 so we do less health per attack now if we go to our world scene and we play now you see that like we still regen enemy doesn't regen and we can kill the enemy just like so so everything looks good and our game is coming together pretty well so that's how you create health bars in godot we're about to regen we're about to be at full health real quick let's see boom there we go now, now we're at full health so thank you guys all so much for watching this video i hope it helped you learn to add health bars to your godot game and if you need any other you know help in godot let me know in the comments down below and I would love to help you out. I got, you know, some huge future plans for the channel and I'm going to be making some pretty crazy tutorials like an inventory system, main menu, level system, all this different type of stuff, all this different type of stuff. So it's going to get crazy soon. So that's why I've been, you know, trying to get all of this uh, action RPG series done. So then I can move on to these huge videos that are going to be pretty like they're going to be very complex. It's going to be crazy. And I'm working on a crazy inventory system that's going to be amazing. But until next time, hit that subscribe button and drop a like so more inspiring game developers can learn to make their own good at games as well. And have a wonderful and safe rest of your day.